418. This is video three for the Catch Fire uh, series, and I'm here in my office. It's beautiful. It's, me it's messy, but uh, it's beautiful. And I want to give you guys two quick announcements before I give you something from the Word. One is tomorrow's 418. It's pirate theme. Come dressed up like a pirate. It's going to be a ton of fun. We're going to play games. We're going to have worship. The Lord is going to speak. He told me he wants to give some prophetic words to you. So if you need a prophetic word from the Lord, come. Uh, I believe there's going to be miracles. There's going to be healing. There's going to be some awesome stuff going on. Number two is that there is going to be the sleepovers. The guys are going to be at uh, Leanna, my house, and the girls are going to be at Ben and Sam's house, and uh, Ben's going to my house, Sam's going to, I mean, Leanna's going to Sam's house, and, and it's going to be a great time. So that's from 7 p.m. to 10 a.m. We'll give you more information about that on Wednesday and also on Facebook. All right, so to get into the Word. In 2 Chronicles chapter 20, there's this guy named Jehoshaphat. Now, he is a king. And these people called the Moabites and the Ammonites have joined up to fight against King Jehoshaphat and uh, God's people. And so, they're outnumbered. Hopelessly outnumbered. It's going to be a brutal massacre. So, what he does is he prays. And what I want to tell you guys today is that when you pray, there are certain words that are more important than others. Let me show you. He's praying to God. He's telling him all this stuff. God, you did this for us. You did that for us. We need your help. And then it says this. Oh, our God, will you not judge them? For we have no power against this great multitude that is coming against us, nor do we know what to do. But our eyes are upon you. So he's praying. He's saying, God, we need this. We need your help. We need your help. So he's praying. That's like us when we pray to God. But then something else happens. It says, Then the Spirit of the Lord came upon Jehaziel, and he said, This is what the Lord says to you. Do not be afraid nor dismayed because of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, it's the Lord's. Here's what I'm saying. The words that you speak are important, very important. But the words that are most important are the words that God speaks back to you. The words that God speaks back to you, the Bible says, are spirit and they are life. That means you're going to get hope. You're going to get joy. You're going to get peace. You're going to get rest. You're going to get direction. You're going to get healing from hearing the word of God. So when you pray, don't just pray and say words. Wait to hear what God has to say to you too. I love you guys. I'll see you on Wednesday. Have a great night. And remember, catch five.